Hi everyone, this is Andrew and welcome back to part 3 of my uh, repair of this Defiant radio. Um, I've not been working on radios uh, this week really. Um, what I have done is I've replaced uh, these two capacitors here. Um, this was uh, this was one of the little little devils that came out all nice and well, it's like burnt and this one here which is the AF coupling capacitor to the output valve um, this one is almost uh, open circuit so uh, no wonder the radio wouldn't work not very good um, I've replaced this was a thousand volt uh, rated uh, capacitor and I've replaced this with um, with an LCR uh, capacitor these ones are actually made in uh, Wales and um, got very nice long long leads on them very useful for radio repair work um, and the other capacitor I use um, I use these a lot this is a, a Vichet um, MKT1813 series uh, rated at either 400 or 630 volts so that's all I've done so far um, what I've done this morning is to uh, have an another look over these uh, electrolytic uh, capacitors. They show no signs of leakage. Um, there's no goo or anything around around the edges. They look in quite good nick. Um, so what I've done um, is I've reformed them a little bit, and they responded quite well to that. So I think what I'm going to do um, in a minute is uh, apply power for the first time. Um, I think these are going to get replaced anyway, just for uh, just for the long term safety of the radio. But um, you know, while while they don't look in too bad condition, um, I think I'm going to you know give it a go and um, put some power into the old girl. Um, I'll just show you the reformer I use. If I pan out a little bit uh, on the camera and refocus. Right, um, what I've got um, is this reformer here. Now this is outputting 320 volts, current limited. Um, well, I'll say 320. Um, obviously, it, uh, it depends on our mains voltage here, which can vary between 230 and about 245 volts here. Um, obviously, the positive goes to the positive end, and the negative goes to chassis. Um, I can monitor the uh, um, current through these two uh, connections here. Um, this is an 8 UF capacitor um, so I'd expect to see the uh, the current dropping down um, if it's not so leaky uh, to about 1 milliamp or, or uh, under. Um, so that's what I've done so far. So they both responded quite well not quite there yet, but um, so I'm probably going to going to uh, restuff these anyway, and we'll put a new can in there. Um, the circuit for this reformer is is on the UK uh, Vintage Radio Repair Forum. Um, well, it's not actually on the forum; it's on the main website. However, I would advise this thing is quite lethal if you don't use it properly. Um, you know, you need to know what's coming out of here and <laughs> that, that 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 can be you know 340 volts coming over here so it can still give you quite a nip um, you know it's not it's not a dangerous circuit it's quite a simple circuit to build um, obviously this metal box uh, earthed um, but yeah but it's meant for UK mains there is a version on there for uh, US uh, 120 volts um, using um, a step up transformer so one, 110 I think to 120 sorry 110 to 230 volt uh, step up transformer but um, you know if you want to build one the circuits on there um, the website address is www.vintage-radio.com and you're looking for the projects tab right so unclip this. So what I'm going to do is set this radio up to apply power. Um, I've not put power through it yet. Um, 
Let's just wait and see what happens. One thing I have done before we start is um, see I've put some um, uh, electrical tape around these. These these are carrying the mains voltage. Um, I don't want to reach over and accidentally put my hand on that. So that's the first thing I've taped off. Right. I'm going to use a lamp limiter for this. I've checked over a lot of the wiring uh, up under the chassis. Um, you know, if, if you're new to this hobby, you, you need to take a little bit of extra care. Um, you know, I've, I've repaired uh, over a hundred, well, I would say, you know, a hundred valve sets. So, sort of, while I'm not an expert, and uh, I certainly, you know, didn't do this, uh, you know, as a job. I've still taken my time and understood what I need to be looking at before you know I start um, uh, applying power. Right, the first thing we need to do, obviously, make sure the switch is off. I'm going to connect a speaker up to the side here. Oh, I could use a meter across the, the output. Right, let's put the speaker well over here. I've wired in two new uh, leads for the speaker because the other ones were just uh, not good and the soldering on the output transformer was absolutely terrible. Hopefully we're going to get something today. I don't expect it to go bang but we might not get any, any sound out. Right, it's on a rubber mat. I'm just going to look underneath to make sure I've not left any tools underneath. Um, I'm going to try and find a knob to put on here. Right, I think that's on medium wave, so we're good all through here. Connections are all good. I'm going to put an aerial in the back. This is my long wire, which goes up through the loft and then out. Right, um, what I'm going to do next is we, we have this thing over here called a safe block. I don't know if uh, anywhere else in the world has got them. Um, obviously the wires go under these spring clips. And, and it's uh, these two connections in the lid here complete the circuit and it's fused. And I've put a 3 amp fuse in here. And that just clips in, and now it's ready to go. Safe just, um, you know, putting a plug on on the end of each uh, each new set every time you have one, or you need to. So I've never seen any any restorers uh, outside of the UK use one of these. So I don't know whether whether any uh, or other countries have them. Right, let's make sure we're safe. Right, I'm going to use the lamp limiter. I've got a 60 watt bulb in it. And I'll put it right in front of the camera so you can see what it's doing. Right, that goes into there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the radio on in a minute, or the on switch on, so I don't have to reach over the back. You know, touch it anymore. Right, turn that off for now. Right, mains lead in. It's on limited, so the bulb's in circuit. Right, fingers crossed. All these are all on. Um, this this is plugged into an RCD down the bottom here, uh, a residual current device, I think, which. Uh, which will trip. There's also one fitted uh, into my main fuse board downstairs uh, for the whole whole house. So one or other will will trip if there's anything wrong with the radio. Right. So just making sure that's okay. 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 It's about in the middle of the. Let's put it over here somewhere around there. What we're looking for is is the bulb to glow quite brightly at first, and then as the sets uh, set starts taking more and more current, it'll it'll dull, and then and then it'll come back up again. 
I think I've explained that correctly. Anyway, what, what you should see is the bulb come on quite quite brightly and then go dim and then come up again. Obviously, I've got uh, I've got a spot lamp on it, so um, hopefully that doesn't affect uh, anything. And what does it look like without the spot lamp? Right, we'll try that without the spot lamp on it and see what happens. Right, right, here goes nothing then. Right, radio on, limited. That, I've got an aerial in the back. Right. I just want to make myself and say this: these my videos are obviously aimed at someone new, newer to the hobby. So I'm just making sure I don't need to go and touch anything once I've applied power. Right. So radio's on. Right. Let's see what happens. Rectifier's lighting up over the back here. Rectifier's lighting. This one's lit, that's lit. Can't hear anything yet. Oh! Ha <laughs> 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 Amazing, it works. Right, let's just whack it off. Right, I'm gonna trip the switch down here. Just oh, sorry, yeah, I painted the transformer as well a little bit. That's not getting hot at all. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Let's, uh, let's move that over the back here. Right. right, so power on. Or power to the radio. I'm now going to trick the old RCD. We have another go. Bulbs are lit up. Gaps lights. Come on, girl. looking good that you see that sort of dull orange glow it probably doesn't look very dull in this light but it's quite quite dull German radio station Good, right. Let's just. Oh, that's a long way if that works. When it started off, I started getting uh, emails and texts, uh, e emails and letters right. from parents and teachers. It's medium wave then. What's this? That way, short wave. Right. 
so we're down at Oh, this is excellent. Seems quite sensitive as well. Well, happy about that. Happy about that. Right. Gosh. Well, there we go. Um, obviously, I've got some work to do. I'm really happy about that for such a filthy old radio that I thought might not ever work again huh <laughs> I'm really happy about that right okay this is Andrew um, hope you've enjoyed this one I certainly have right bye bye